Assalamu alaikum and salam sejahtera to all of you. So, we are going to continue with chapter number 5, which is benzene and aromatics compound. So, this is the outline of your um, chapter. You have introductions as usual. And then we have structure and nomenclature. Okay, we'll cover for IUPAC and common names. And then we have reactions and mechanism, electrophilic substitutions reactions, including the halogenations, nitrations, sulfonations, Friedel-Craft alkylations, and Friedel-Craft acylations. So reactions and mechanism means that all these five reactions you will have mechanism for each of it. Okay, and then the third one is the effect of substituents on the reactivity and orientations. So there are two types of effects in terms of the activator or deactivator group which is contribute to the rate of reactions. And the second one is in terms of the orientations whether the second substituents will be at the um, ortho or para positions or will be directed to the meta directions and next one is reactions of side chain on arenes which is side chain reactions of benzene there are two which is substitution reaction related to alkyl benzene only so the halogenation reactions which is free radical substitution reactions almost the same with topics number two okay for the next one, which is oxidation reactions, um, by using a hot and concentrated chemonophore. Alright, and the last but not least uh, is the uses of benzene or toluene as usual. Okay, so for the first part, which is introductions, benzene, okay, the molecular formula is C6H6. Is the simplest aromatic hydrocarbons. Benzene is highly unsaturated, but benzene does not react like an alkene. Okay, so benzene undergo electrophilic substitution reactions, alkene undergo additions reactions. So benzene it contains uh, unsaturated bonding, which is double bond, okay, alternated double point but it is not an alkene okay so i give you one example so we have a b and c so a is a cyclohexane which is a six membered ring okay in a cyclic structure no double point okay only contain single point Okay, for B, let's say I add one double bond, so it will become a cyclohexane. Okay, you have one double bond. And for C, I will add three alternated double bond, so it will become a benzene. Not cyclo hexa triene okay, bukan walaupun dia lebih kurang okay, kita nampak macam you ada cyclic structure okay, six member ring and three table point it could be a cyclohexa triene but it is not a cyclohexa triene okay so, kalau you nampak six member ring, alternated double point dia adalah benzene. So, cyclohexane adalah saturated. While for cyclohexane, it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. So, for benzene, obviously, it contain three alternated double point so means that it also an unsaturated hydrocarbons for cyclohexane since 
it is a saturated hydrocarbons. So the type of reactions it will undergo is a substitution reactions, which is a free radical substitution reactions. For cyclohexene, unsaturated, so meaning that it is a addition reactions. For benzene, even though they are the unsaturated compound, tapi they are kind undergo substitution reactions, which is electrophilics. Okay, electrophilic substitution reactions. Why? Because benzene need to maintain the alternated double bond so that it can remain its characteristic as a aromatic compound. So, syarat untuk jadi aromatic compound, dia mesti ada structure yang ada alternate double bond. So, if one of this double bond break down, for example, like this, okay, yang ini, putus and then jadi BR with BR, so dia dah tak ada alternate double bond pada this structure. So, bila dah tak ada alternate double bond, it is no longer aromatic compound. So, dia dah jadi macam cyclohexene. So, that's why to maintain its double bond dalam dia punya structure, so benzene will undergo the electrophilic substitution reactions. So, that's why cyclohexene and benzene are different compound. Okay, features and chemical properties dia adalah berbeza. Okay, so kalau cyclohexane react dengan Br2, so it will need a UV sebab dia undergo free radical substitution reactions. So the product will be a substitution product. Okay, plus with HBr. For cyclohexane, if it is undergo brominations, it will need a CCl4 as the reagents. So, the product that produced is an addition product. So, we'll break down the double bond. So, form new sigma bond and then two Br atom will be added to the new sigma bond. For the benzene, if it reacts with Br2, so it will need a Lewis acid, which is FeBrT3, sorry, to maintain its aromatic compound. So, they can undergo substitution reactions, which is electrophilic substitution. So, the double point can remain, okay, and then bila substitution is only one atom, okay, so plus dengan apa? HBr plus dengan FeBr3. So, this is the differences between saturated hydrocarbons, unsaturated hydrocarbons and aromatic hydrocarbon. So, saturated hydrocarbon, free radical substitutions, unsaturated hydrocarbons uh, would prefer the addition reactions. For aromatic compound, they are can prefer electrophilic substitutions reactions to maintain its aromaticity. One is the structure of benzene. It can be represented by using the resonance structure which is a circle in the middle okay, of six membered ring ataupun you boleh guna the calculate structure. So calculate structure either this one ataupun yang ini dia adalah structure yang sama. Okay, dia represent benda yang sama walaupun locations of double bond dia berbeza. Okay, so um, due to this, kita boleh represent dia menggunakan resonance structure. Bermaksud yang ini bila ada bulat dekat tengah ni, dia ada delocalization of pi electron. So, kenapa dia boleh berpindah ataupun kenapa... Uh, compound yang A dengan B ni adalah structure yang sama sebab every second the double point ni akan 
moving okay bertukar jadi macam ni and then dia jadi macam ni dia jadi macam this one sorry this one so dia akan rearrange balik untuk jadi structure A so that's why kita boleh represent the tiga double bond tu jadi dalam bentuk resonance structure so that's why benzene ni dia berbeza dengan alkin okay ataupun cyclo alkin so kalau cyclo alkin okay double bond dia adalah localized maksudnya dia memang dekat situ dan dia tak boleh bergerak ke sini tak boleh okay localized tetap tapi kalau benzin double bond dia boleh moving okay, kita panggil delocalize ok so that's why dia punya characteristic and chemical properties of cycloalkene ok ataupun double bond compound dengan aromatic compound adalah berbeza so for this one adalah contoh untuk chemical re reactions of benzene with Br2 with the presence of Lewis acid okay, to produce a bromobenzene okay, and the byproducts. So, lagi sekali saya ingatkan, it is not advisable untuk you guna ataupun you represent your chemical structure menggunakan molecular formula. So, better you lukis. This one just for example only. Okay. So that's all for this video. We continue with the nomenclature on the next video. Alright guys, so thank you.